Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be building the new LEGO Ideas Medieval Blacksmith. Beautiful looking set in the 18 plus style packaging. 21325 is the set number. 2,164 pieces. It's LEGO Ideas set number 33. Here on the back of the box you can see some of the interior details and the cool minifigures interacting with those details and also the dimensions of the set. It is quite large and will look really good in a LEGO City. And it is a modular style, so you can see that it comes apart. Just finished opening the box there. We've got our instruction manual here. Also some dark tan large plates there. And there's 14 bags. Bags one and two are now complete. You can see that we've started doing our base for the blacksmith structure here. Very highly detailed. So the light brick is actually right here. And that's where he will forge the weapon or heat the metal. It's gonna be a very highly detailed set, I can already tell. Can't wait to continue progressing with this build. We're getting ready to start our second building session here of the blacksmith. As you can see, we've capped off our first floor there, and we've also added a nice apple tree that has a target on the back there for the archer. You can see the minifigures in which we've already created. And now we're starting bag six, which is essentially our second floor. And we'll get the second floor done in this building session here today. We're about to start our live build finale where we will be finishing the blacksmith. That's what we built in the first day. Second day we built this here, which is the second floor, complete modular style. Really like the texturing on the outside, a great combination of colors, the white, tan, and also the brown wood paneling with some gold window elements. Lots of details in the inside, like a cook station, also uh, some chairs and stairs going up to the third floor, which we'll obviously be building right now. And this will just clip on just like that there. So let's finish this thing off and then we'll have a complete look at all the details that this magnificent Lego Ideas Medieval Blacksmith has. I've got to say that I'm absolutely blown away by this set. First thing we're going to take a look at is the four very detailed minifigures that the set comes with. Here we have the lady in the green top and she is an archer. She's got a bow and arrow there obviously and a quiver on the back side of her. A multicolored uh, leg pieces there. Also we have the blacksmith there who's got the orange beard and he's got the hammer there. He's wearing an apron once again with the multicolored uh, leg pieces. Then we have two 
Black Falcon Knights, very detailed minifigures. They have the crest on the torso, they have armor. Also, they come with uh, a halberd there, a sword, and a shield as well. Whoops. Uh, the armor is actually different. This gentleman here has armor over his right shoulder, and she has shoulder pads on both sides. These two minifigures do not have alternate faces. However, these two do. We also get this dog right here. Uh, these ones don't come with alternate faces because you actually get a helmet as well. You can see them wearing their helmets there. In order to see the blacksmith's face, you have to remove his beard. You can see his first face is the smiling one, and his alternate face is a concentrated one where he's got his tongue sticking out, and the archer's alternate face is a winking face. So some really good minifigures, and also in addition to the minifigures, you also get a horse and a wagon, and this is the horse and wagon here. Really nice build. I love it. I love the curvature of the wagon, also the multi colors. You got a uh, lantern on one side, four wheels, obviously two on either side, the brown fence elements there, all a reddish brown color scheme, a horse that refuses to stand up for some reason, an open back concept there, also a spot to put one of the shields on this side here. The nice thing is, is it's got lots of room for storage, so while the Black Falcon Knights are not wearing their helmets or using their weapons or shields, you could put them in the back side of the wagon so that you know all of the parts and pieces are stowed away with the set, uh, with the original set. The nice thing is, is the horse can actually be posed. It has two points of articulation. Its head can be moved forward and backward and also its legs can be moved as well. Right now it's hooked up to the wagon, but of course you can unlatch it from that wagon. Just like so, you just sort of pop this off here, try not to break the place, and then you put uh, this little piece right here, which is just a one by two brick with a one by two tile top to fill in the horse. And of course you could make a knight ride this horse as well, as you can pos position a minifigure in there. You can see the top of the head will move just like that at the neck, and then also the back legs will move, so you can put it in a standing position. Look at that majestic looking horse. I like the color of it. I also like the print detailing on the face of the horse. So brilliant minifigures that this set comes with. The horse and wagon is definitely a nice touch. Let's have a look at the actual set. So I am absolutely blown away by the set. Astounded. Beyond words. It is incredible. The first thing to address is the size of it. It's essentially like a modular building size. And the nice thing about it is it fits on a 32 by 32 base plate. Recent LEGO Idea sets such as Sesame Street didn't fit on a 32 by 32 base plate, making it awkward to fit into a LEGO City scene. Whereas this one here, it will literally just sit on a standard base plate and you can uh, put it right into your city block, which is pretty cool and it's what I plan on doing. Originally I didn't intend on doing that until I actually saw the set at the front window in the LEGO store, then I was immediately sold on it because it's incredible. Also, the detail of it, the color combinations in the roof, the shingle work, the mixture of the reddish brown framing on the building, along with the white, tan, and reddish brown siding, and the gold window elements really come together to create a magnificent looking building. We have lots of different textures on the side of the building as well, using snot bricks and tile work, just like the old fishing store Lego idea set. And then the addition of the window looking out here with the uh, roof on the side and also the chimney is beautiful. We also have another little roofing right here or shelter. And that uh, shelters the forge right there where you can see an anvil. You can see a sword in the forge right now. There's a barrel on the side with a couple more swords inside. A nice arched window frame here and an entrance inside with the wood grained print pieces there for the door and then a uh, nice little print piece here for blacksmith. No stickers in this set which is something to be noted and also all of the different textures and tile work done on the exterior of this building. It is very detailed. Also if you click on the billows here it'll stoke the fire and there's a light brick right there which will light up the forge. Very awesome. On the side of the building here you can see there's a dog bone so our dog has a bone there, and there is some nice arch pieces here that have the gold windows in between those arch pieces. Definitely a lot of nice framework done with this build here. Lots of different textures on the exterior and also angles, building techniques, 
and small details such as these pumpkins and plants, the nice sand green elements there mixed with like the olive, olive colors and also dark tan. Just a beautiful set that really, like all the parts and pieces and colors really played with one another and just come together to create something pretty awesome. You can see we have uh, some of those, more of those snot bricks on the side here and we have um, some light blue, dark bluish gray elements uh, that blend in with the olive color and also uh, the light bluish gray masonry bricks. And we have an arch right here just on the other side of our apple tree where there's a target where that archer can practice uh, their arrow shot. Apples mixed throughout this tree and a combination of different colors in the leaves. A well right here and just in behind that tree there are some extra lumber. It's like a, a lumber cache and the interesting thing is actually when you look in there you can see they can actually go underneath the stairs. I don't know if I can light up, but there's access to go underneath the stairs. Essentially, you can get right in there. You see how my finger can get way in there deep. So essentially, the minifigures could be caching stuff underneath the stairs. It's an interesting concept that's like a hidden detail and a hidden gem of the set. And there's just so much detail work with the arches and textures and lanterns and colors on the exterior. It is magnificent. Also the angles that we have in the roof, there's two different angles as it's on a ball joint and lots of different colors integrated into the shingle work with the sand green and different shades of blue. Just a beautiful exterior design. And let me tell you, the interior has some nice details as well. And the way we can access the first floor is this will just pop right off. And then you'll see the interior. A nice bed design that's Completely different from anything that I've ever built before. Some great part usage there. This uh, chest on the side will open up. There's a backpack and also a compass in there. And here you can see we have a quiver and a pen, a little bit of a fire there, and also this fireplace right there. Essentially, you just build this chimney and it should just pull off actually. Yeah, you can just pull it off just like that there. So you can see the chimney build, sort of modular style and it just pops right back on, held on by the four by four plate. And that's same with this here, it's held on by a, a two by six plate. You can also remove that. So remove these two things and this side of the roof will also pop off, which is pretty easily accessible. And nice archwork in the interior here, consistent with the outside, uh, which is just brilliant. And then <laughs> like this here, it's the, uh, the bear skin. So there's a bear skin on the ground there and it's actually a 3d bear skin you can see they've done that with uh, various tile elements there just brilliant let's see if i can pop this roof off with one hand yep pretty easy to get in there and access the uh the second floor so we go in the entrance there which once again has that wood grain on the door and we've got some really interesting looking chairs here which are somewhat they're pretty big like they're not really minifig scale, I don't think, but you can see it's a really great part usage there that I've broken now. Yeah, you can see the backrest is actually an ax and then you have some tiles on the, uh, the cushion there and then it's just four cylinder elements on the bottom. Once you lock them into place, they're hard to pull out without breaking, especially when you're dealing with a one hand scenario there. We've got some uh, food elements on there, some chicken and a leaf there, also two goblets. And underneath the stair, you'll actually see that there is a keg there. And then we got our cook station right here. It looks like they're turning butter, I think there. I think that's what that represents. And also this pot can be moved over top of the burner, which is interesting. You know, normally you just put that pot right on the burner like the other one, but it can be moved over top. Also, it's a wood stove, so you'll see some wood elements in behind there with some fire. And that connects once again to that chimney. And the forge below connects to that same chimney as well. Then just a counter over here we can, where he's chopping some carrots, I believe. After taking off the main floor there, it really does reveal the staircase here, which is a brilliant build on its own. Some great texture work there. I like how this pillar's framed by bricks, and I like the curvature around there with the different leaves as well. And this is actually the workshop, which is the ground floor. You can see the door leads into the workshop there. Lots of different uh, elements in here. You got the broom, the shovel, the hammer, the pot, 
Also another helmet there. We got some armor hanging on the wall there. I believe some uh, just metal here that's ready to be forged. You got a spinning wheel here to sharpen a sword. There's also some coal just beneath the shield here. And then you can access the other side of the forge. That's the, the light brick there. And this once again connects with the chimney. You also have another anvil down there and just a lot of great details in the workshop of this set as well. I just really like that light brick and the way that uh, the, the billows uh, get it lit up, really cool. Nothing bad to say about this set. The detail is unlike anything I've seen before. It's so cool. They've gotta make some more medieval castle style stuff because this is spectacular. One thing that I do notice though, these bricks right here, because they're only held on by one stud, these they go crooked very easily. And I'm not a huge fan of that. They should be probably held on by two studs, just so that doesn't happen. You can see mine are all crooked and I've barely even played with the set. It would be nice to have those held on by two studs, but that's really about it. I mean, I can just straighten them out and maybe they're supposed to look crooked like bricks. I don't know. Great minifigures, unprecedented detail. Looks simply incredible. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.